welcome to the Happy Happy Intuitive. This is Nina and I'm here to do the Christmas giveaway decks video. Yay! <laughs> it's always fun with giveaways, isn't it? Well, listen, I have decided to do a giveaway year this coming year. 2023 is going to be my year of giving back or giveaway cards. But I wanted to start it out by actually giving away something for Christmas as well. So the next year is going to be one deck a month that I'm going to do a giveaway of. I will then uh, post a video early in the month where I show the deck and then you can sign up if you want to participate in the draw in the description and then two weeks later I will then uh, announce who won the deck and ship it off to whomever won. So it will be one deck a month but I wanted to start out doing this this Christmas so I have decided to start now with three decks for Christmas this year. Yay! <laughs> so I hope that you like this. Now if you watched the other video where I kind of announced this uh, then then you know you saw that these three were kind of drawn with the, through the dice and everything to choose from uh, several decks which ones was going to be the giveaway for Christmas and these three were the ones that uh, won if you will. So I'm going to uh, name them one, two and three so you know okay and we're going to look at number one first and number two and number three. I'm going to flip through, through them and tell you a little bit how I have worked with them so you get to know them a little bit and then you can uh, sign up in the description which of these decks that you would prefer to be in the draw for and of course you can you can ask to be on the draw for all of them that's totally allowed uh, and then I will of course announce who wins um, all the three decks at the same time I will announce that in the same video okay but let us start by looking at the deck so we're going to look at the celebration of love deck first so this is the box sturdy good box I'm not so sure where I got this from. Uh, it says Schiffer on the side here, but it looks like it's a deck that I got from maybe Book Depository. So it comes with a guidebook here. And it's a quite good guidebook. It has a lot of information. And it has also the pictures of the cards, which is something I really, really like. So that's that. And then, of course, the cards. And they're quite different. This is the back. Very, very uh, beautiful. And of course it is about love, but it's not just love between two people, it's also love in general. So just to have that said, the cardstock is good and sturdy. It's kind of the quality of a normal um, Oracle deck. So I have used them a little bit and as you can see, of course, since they are used, there is a little bit of tear. Uh, they have been worn down a tiny bit here and there, but not very much. But you can see a little bit here on the top. So that's that. They are used, you know. So these are the, the images. So there is a, a name on the top and then an image and then a little bit of information on the, on the bottom as well. Very, very beautiful cards. I actually love these cards and it's not that I don't want to keep these cards. That's not why I, I'm giving them away. I'm giving them away so that somebody else can j have the same joy of these cards as I've had. Um, there are be some beautiful, beautiful images on these cards here, and I don't know, it's, it's, um, it's very different. Uh, I have never seen anything like this, actually. The images are quite unique for me. And I've used them uh, not necessarily as a love reading deck, I've used them as a normal oracle deck, okay? And some of these images is just so beautiful, like this one here, it's just so beautiful. So for me, it has the energy, it's kind of, for me, an, an angelic energy of them, okay, about them. That's what I feel when I hold this deck. So I have treated them as such as well with my energy. So of course, the decks will have a little bit of my energy on them. But you can, you can of course, choose to uh, rinse that out of the deck by using crystals or by uh, holding them, you know, just in your hands and meditating on them, stuff like that. Um, but I only work with the purest of light energies, so there should be only uh, positive and good vibrations and energies in these cards. So, oh, this is so beautiful. I just love that card. Yeah. 
so for me this has been a beautiful beautiful deck to use um uh, and i but i've had it for many years and so as i've told you before i have gotten so many new decks and i just it's just too many for me to use and so i would rather that it goes to someone who can have time to use it because i have too many decks right now um so i hope that somebody out there will enjoy this deck look at that beautiful image so some of the images as i said in this deck is just stunning so i i really really love the images here so this has worked very well for me uh, over a long period of time so i hope that somebody out there will love this deck fall in love with it the way i did and use it so that is deck number one okay now let's get to deck number two the witches familiars oracle cards by uh, barbara Michael John Free and Flavia Kate Peters, designed by Kate Osborne. So, this box came when I got it in the mail, it came with this little tear on the corner here. So, I just want to say that already so that you know that it already had that little tear in the corner. This is the guidebook, and these are the women that has made it. Very good guidebook. There's pictures on it and then information, which is something I really, really love. So I really love this deck. It's been one of my Halloween decks, one of my go-to Halloween decks. It's <clears throat> edged in silver, so that's pretty cool. This is the back, kind of a scary cat there, oh, very cool. So, so for me, uh, I use it as a Halloween deck, but of course you can use it as any uh, deck all year round if you want to. Um, but uh, these are the images so also very beautiful images and very easy and to understand and interpret the the cards yeah and some of these images are also just so gorgeous <laughs> look at that spider yeah oh, I just love that image right there beautiful so again one of my fun Halloween decks, but I have so many Halloween decks now, so I felt like when I did Halloween readings last time that I, I, I didn't have the time to use all my cards, you know, I didn't have the time to really appreciate all my cards because it was just too many. So that's why I'm giving them away, even though I really, really love them, but you know, it is what it is, and I, I hope that somebody out there will have fun with this oh i love otters just love them uh yeah so if somebody out there would like to have a fun halloween deck that has really worked for me um yeah i really truly love this deck <laughs> you know i love all my decks so it's almost hard to let go of them but i really want somebody else to enjoy them as well so please, when it comes to my decks, please only sign up if you truly want them. Because uh, I really want them to go to someone that appreciates them and, and will use them. Okay? Not to sit on the shelf like it has been, some of my decks have been doing with me. Because, yeah, I went overboard. <laughs> I bought too many decks. You know. But I want to cut down now and give away. And so I can truly appreciate the decks that I that I that I have, you know. But this is uh, this is such a beautiful deck, yeah. Really, really cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love the dragon. Yeah, and the fox. So I have used these as you know you can. I've used them both as beginners cards. I use all of my oracle decks. I can use as just one card where you interpret maybe the image or just the what comes through in one card. And that will start you up on a reading or that will be enough information. Or yeah, I've done also three cards together, which kind of set the foundation of a reading. I've used it that way. But I've also used it as extra cards in a reading with um, primarily tarot cards to begin with. And then I draw an extra card as an uh, enhancer kind of. So you, I've used it in, in many different ways. And this has been very kind to me as well, this deck. And given me lots of fun moments. So, yeah, I truly hope that somebody out there will fall in love with this and want to give it a good home. 
So that is deck number two. Okay. So now for deck number three. This is quite special. Because this is, I don't know if you have heard about the Abraham Hicks, but uh, Esther Hicks is someone who channels, and she channels an entity called Abraham, uh, hence her name, uh, Abraham Hicks. So she also has a YouTube channel, and I know she has a website. You can go and know more about her. Uh, and she has made a couple of decks that I have been using quite a bit uh, for... Uh, my own spiritual development, okay? This one is called Getting Into the Vortex. And uh, she talks a lot about that. That's uh, Esther Hicks right there. Number one, New York Times bestselling author. So she has also written a lot of books. And she travels around and channels Abraham, uh, you know, uh, in different uh, venues around, at least in the U.S., I think. So... It's a message from her here, so I kept this card to, to give with this deck. And these are the cards. Okay, so she has made it so that it's very modern and very cool images, I have to say. And there is kind of a, a, um, an image and a little message here, but on the back side you have a longer message, okay? So that's why there's no guidebook, because this is kind of the guidebook on the back. So the cardstock is good. It's thick. It's glossy. So really good. Uh, normal size Oracle cards here. This was also given out by Hay House, just to have that said. So these are the images, and they're really modern, and the, the, the coloring also here is so beautiful. It's very vibrant. And she talks very much about frequency and energy, vibration, those kind of things. So uh, for me, it has been a, a good help on my spiritual journey. And I've used it to just, you know, draw one card and then um, meditate on that one message, either just the image or reading the back kind of as a daily message. Or you can use them, of course, three in a row or extra cards, you know, whatever. But for me, it has been very kind of a personal, more personal deck than using so much in readings, okay? Just to have that said. So, and, and it just feels so good, this deck. I really like the feel of this deck. So, the this deck is very high vibrational for me. Um, it's a beautiful deck. And again, a deck that I'm almost reluctant to give away. <laughs> ah, you know, I love all my decks. But, yeah, I can always buy them again later if I really, really miss them. <laughs> So, no, but I really want somebody else to benefit from this deck. Um, yeah, it's, it's, really, it's really good messages here, and, and the images are really unique. Uh, the artist is really unique. Uh, so, it's, it's a thing where you, it, it kind of gets you, or you don't get it, or you don't feel it, you know. Uh, so, either you feel it or you don't. Yeah, I'm just going to flip through these for you. Yeah, so these have been really good cards. You know, you, you, you ask for guidance. I just have, you know, a general, I open up and I, was, I always say, you know, what do you have for me today or what would you like me to know? What is important for me to know right now? And I just pull a card and, and it's given me messages that I can use throughout my day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A really lovely, lovely deck, this one. So. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It's. Uh, yeah, it's been a good help for me on my way. So I hope that it will be the same for whomever wins this deck. So, this is kind of the way this deck works. So, it's not too much tear on this, a little bit here and there. Uh, but as I said, it has been used, but this looks almost, almost brand new. <laughs> almost. I try to be very careful with my decks. So, there you go. 
Right, so that is the uh, Esther and Jerry Hicks. Uh, Jerry was her late husband. He has passed over now. So she communicates with him too. But Esther Hicks, uh, Abraham Hicks, Teachings of Abraham, 60 uh, uh, cards, getting into the vortex is what it's called. So this is deck number three, okay? So people, let me know in the description if you are interested in one, two, or three. If you want to participate in this, write this, okay? So this is how, this is how you participate. Take a note. Write, I'm in. I'm in, and then a hashtag, and then you write which ones you want to be participating in. Number one, two, or three. Or as I said, you can choose more than one. Uh, but you have to write I'm in and hashtag on which deck that you would prefer, okay? I'm in and the deck number. So that's how it works. And so two weeks from now, I will then reveal who has won this. So uh, let me see which date that's going to be. Let me see, let me see, let me see what date this has to be done by. Um, yeah, so let us say the, the, I think I have to, if it's going to be shipped worldwide and be there by Christmas, I think I have to have it shipped by the 30th of November. So let us say Sunday, the 27th of November will be the last day to participate. Okay. Sunday, the 27th of November the participation stops, then I have to make a draw, then I have to send it the next morning on that Monday to be able to reach you wherever you are in the world before Christmas, okay? So by the 27th of November, you have to have had participated, and after that, the participation will be closed, okay? That's it. So I hope that you appreciate this draw. I hope you appreciate my wanting to give back to you. I am so grateful for everybody who follows my channel and for all your comments and your likes and your shares and subs and everything. And this is my way of giving back. So thank you so much. I wish you a beautiful day. Until the next time I see you. Bye.